How to make a website here in South Africa. Hello, my name is Ross Turner, aka Mr. Turner, and welcome back to another video. Now, to some of you who are subscribed to my channel, this is a video that you've been waiting for because I've got a lot of DMs and comments. Ross, please show us how to make a website. Now, the reason why I haven't like made a proper video on the instructions on how to make it is because, as you know, I'm making a website that's going to give you in a PDF form and take you through everything. While I'm working on that, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to give it to you guys, a step-by-step -step thing. It's not going to be in detail, it's just going to give you the fundamental basics in order to get started with website development okay are you ready get your pen and paper out and let's start this first of all you're going to go to afrihost and then what you're going to do on afrihost is you're going to go over to hosting and you're going to click on shared linux web hosting okay now once you've clicked on that you're going to see it's going to have the default package as gold now you don't want to go gold because it's 49 rand per month we're going to save 10 bucks and we're going to go to silver home now the difference you can compare yourself it's only storage space email accounts and right now we don't need 75 email accounts we just want to make our website and it's going to be an e-commerce store or just a basic website that's up to you you're going to click up sign up now and it's going to take you to a page where you can then enter your domain so you're going to go through the whole process again so you're going to click on silver home hosting package for 39 rand a month you're going to click on that then it's going to ask you do you want a new domain do you want to transfer the domain or self-management you're going to say new domain because you're a new user from there you're going to click in the domain name find your domain and then you're going to say purchase and it's going to go through the whole process you can do that by yourself once you've purchased your domain, you're going to either log back in or it's going to log you in depending on how things are done. And you are going to then either have to wait 24 hours depending on how fast they can get it up and running. Sometimes mine is instant, you know, mine will just come up, boom, and I have access to my cPanel. Now I have noticed that AfriHost has changed the name of cPanel to website manager now this is important because this is where you're going to download wordpress if you are lost at this point and you after purchasing your domain website manager doesn't pop up now where you find website manager is when you log in you're going to click on hosting and then it's going to pop up and then some tabs are going to come up and you'll see either a website manager or cpanel Okay, now if that doesn't show, what you're going to do is you're going to WhatsApp AfriHost. Now, check at the top of the screen, there's the number there. You put it in your phone and you WhatsApp them and you say, Hey, I'm a new member, please can you look at my account? Am I active? And they're going to give you the instructions. Cool. Let's say you've now a you have a website manager active on your hosting you're going to go to this thing scroll down and you're going to go to softer calus i don't know how to say it but you're going to click on that and once you've clicked on that you're going to click and install wordpress now once you've installed in the installation process of wordpress it is very important that your url does not have this extra bit at the end now i can't see it because i've already done the process and i don't want to buy another domain just to show you guys what to take out but you will see www.yourdomain.co.za and there's a second block there it either has wp or it has something else in that block please remember remove it because otherwise that is going to be in your actual domain okay once you have set up this process please do not forget to add in your admin and password because there are two sides to a website there's the front end which your page visitors see and there's the back end which you log into in order to make changes to your website now there will be two urls the URL for your front end will end in .co.za and the URL for your back end will end in .co.za forward slash forward slash WP dash admin. That is your login details. Remember to set it up your admin or your username 
and your password. Once that's set up, I suggest that you have a look on YouTube on how to run your WordPress website, how to make some changes and stuff like that. Otherwise, I would be sitting here for four to six hours showing you guys every single thing in order to set it up and even more time on it because there's a lot to teach you guys with, with regards to website design. But this is just the basic fundamentals to get you started. And if you have any queries about how to install your WordPress again, you can always contact Afrihost. Now, that sounds simple and easy to you guys, but that is the first basic start on how to make your website. The difference between, yes, everyone can learn how to make a website because the tools are now available online. If you go to Udemy, if you go to Skillshare, if you go to lynda.com, everyone knows how to make a WordPress design website. The difference between you and me is the experience that I have had. I have have over 15 websites that I've made. I know how to work with bugs and glitches. I know how to get traffic to the website. So just because I showed you how to make a website or install it does not mean that that's it. There's a whole lot of stuff that you have to do. But as always, never let me stop you from doing your thing go out on the internet find out how to make a wordpress website search it on youtube and if you really truly want me to help you and take you through the process i will do a small course in december or i will do a course once i've reached 10,000 subscribers and that will be like my big course announcement at this moment in time i just do not have all the time in the world to make a course for you right now but as i said once my website has been launched, it's called First Step Money. Once that is launched, guys, you will have access to PDFs and how to make money here in South Africa the way that I make money here. I hope that this video has helped you get started with how to make a website here in South Africa. Remember, please guys, remember once you've learned and built up your skills on how to make a website, please do not charge people around 200 rand for one website okay that's just not how it goes even my costing i need to increase it um it's very difficult to cost website because it depends on your skills your time how much traffic you generate and all of that remember seo is a whole different business to website making that's the th one thing that some of the clients don't understand is Yes, you can make a website, but driving traffic and generating sales are a whole different ball game. That's a different business to making websites. So you must reiterate that to your customers when they ask you, okay, can you get me X amount of sales? No, no, no. You can pr generate some traffic, which may lead to sales, but that depends on the budget they have to give you in order to generate those leads to your pages. So as I'm talking you here, there's a lot more information to making a, a website or an e-commerce site. And uh, hopefully this has started you in the right direction uh, to making websites here in South Africa. Why I haven't suggested things such as Shopify or Wix is because they just I don't I don't believe in those uh, Shopify I think is I don't know 60 rand a month I'm not too sure I will correct it here on the screen or even more uh, Wix I haven't checked the prices I'm not even interested in those two things because they are for like very specific people who Wix is just for like bloggers yes they claim that they can do an e-commerce store but for how much who knows there's uh, Shopify for dropshipping and all those people who are interested in it. I'm just not interested in that because I don't see dropshipping taking off anytime soon or fast or whatever. I'm going for something that I can control, which is WordPress. And yeah, that's what I like. Um, to those of you who are interested in more information about generating leads to your site or traffic or anything like that, I will make a, a short video like this in the future and um, yeah so that's what I have to say in order for you to get started in website development here in South Africa please remember that once you know how to 
do this simple installation of wordpress does not mean that you are now a fully fledged web <laughs> website maker okay that is not it you still need uh, some hours of training to make your first website and yeah you need a you need to learn a lot more than what i've showed you today in order to become a fully fledged website designer and charge at least 8k upwards so i hope you enjoyed it remember to leave a like on this video as it really helps the channel i'm almost on 4,000 subscribers can you believe it that's absolutely amazing and remember to always stay shining keep smiling even on a rainy day thanks